get here. And I'm sure I didn't do any good by keeping talking while he was back there drinking. So look, I'm gonna need y'all to start clapping. Come on, start clapping. Let's go. Clap. Get it together. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage Tom Myers. So I left Los Angeles and decided to come back to our nation's capital. <laughs> sea Spring Watchers got that one, <laughs> right? But uh, if you ever get the chance to go visit uh, Baltimore, uh, I recommend you do that. I also recommend you not block my camera that's sitting on the bar right there. Thank you very much, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I out last that I needed later in the set. Should have blocked the camera earlier, all right? We, we talked about this before I got on that. But I'm going to tell you the sites you should go see in Baltimore, all right? Don't visit, like, the Inner Harbor, the National Aquarium, or Camden Yards. To get the real sites of Baltimore, just drive down any random street, stop at a red light, look over on the sidewalk, you see a used common line on the ground, and a dead guy still wearing it. <sighs> God. Hey, Homicide Life on the Street and The Wire are based on non-fiction. All right, folks? Just there's some origins there. Uh, baseball season getting started. We got any baseball fans here tonight? Make some noise. Come on, yeah! Of course, being from Baltimore, I'm an Orioles fan, so I'm a glutton for punishment. No, but actually, Oral Park and Camden Yards is a really neat ballpark, and they actually go ahead and try themselves on being a family-friendly ballpark. They do. They say, come on out to Camden Yards. You can, you can bring the whole family. You can even bring a really even small children and babies. They'll love it. Yeah, no shit. Because they haven't had a winning season the past 14 years, and the ballpark is fucking empty, so your little rug rack can take a nap. That's why you're bringing the small children out, all right? Yeah, because we have a base place for the Orioles. I mean, I love it. But Jesus Christ, they have sucked the last 14 years, all right? You know your baseball team sucks when you go to a home game and your child can take a nap, alright? You know your baseball team sucks when you go to a home game for the peace and quiet, alright? Or if you want to read a book, alright? Or if you want to read the entire Lord of the Rings series without being disturbed, yeah. You can come to Oriole Park and Camden Yards because nobody will fucking bother you there. Yeah, and you know your baseball team sucks when the uh, Nationals look better. <laughs> your baseball team came from Montreal, all right? There's truth based in that. No, but uh, I love following sports and I love following up on uh, current events. I was thrilled by following that whole Casey Anthony trial. I was especially rather disturbed by the verdict, but then I started thinking about the positive aspects of it. When the not guilty verdict was being read, I looked at it this way. I thought to myself, you know, I get a sapphire ginger. positive aspect sapphire of this is that ginger. somewhere, and then I separate glass of ginger. as this verdict is being read, there's a little toddler watching what's going, alright, I'm getting my shit together right now, okay. <laughs> No more screaming like a banshee, no more throwing food on the floor, no more coloring on the walls. I don't like presents being set, alright? The act is coming together this year. My favorite news story in the past couple years is the founder of the role-playing game, Dungeons & Dragons, passed away at the age of 69. I found that to be a very historic moment. That's the first time the words Dungeons, Dragons, and 69 ever appeared in the same sentence. <coughs> Yeah, I know, that, that joke's usually a little iffy, alright? I, I know someone's going to bug me after the show and go, listen, I don't know if you ever played Dungeons and Dragons, but it's awesome, alright? I don't know if you ever taste like goblins and trolls or poison swords, alright? I don't know if you ever face down a cobalt or a gnome who's trying to get back their jewel encrusted token of power that you stole from them. 
I say, I don't know, is there anything like getting laid? Oh, that's right, you wouldn't know. <laughs> Let's see, what do I want to do? Do I want to learn the proper way to roll an eight-sided dice? Or do I want to get a hand job? Uh, oh, life is full of important choices. And I made a great choice coming down here tonight. You guys have been an awesome crowd. Thank you, RFP, very much. You can visit me online at tommyers.us. Thank you. Drop me on the car one more time. Yeah. Come to kick off the show. Do a good job. All right, so, y'all ready to be on next comment?